For the first time in 30 years, Liverpool lifted their first ever English Premier League title and did so with style and utter dominance. Jurgen Klopp's men played the season with the single-minded obsession that was to finally end the club's trophy drought that spanned three decades. This was a Premier League season like no other and after a two-month lockdown resumed and finished at breakneck speed. While the Reds were all but certain of winning the title, a lot of other teams had quite a bit to play for. Aston Villa flirted with relegation throughout the campaign but against all odds survived. Manchester United were nowhere in sight when pundits talked about the top four, but Solskjaer's men played like a completely different outfit once the league resumed and finished third. Throughout the entire campaign, we saw some truly amazing performances. Some individuals disappointed, but there were some who really surpassed expectations. A few teams were supposed to do well, but failed to step up. Manchester United dozed away the first period of the campaign before finally waking up, thanks to the arrival of Bruno Fernandes. Spurs were supposed to improve on what they achieved last season but made such a horrible start to their new campaign that Mauricio Pochettino ended up getting the boot while Jose Mourinho was left scrambling for a European spot. Leicester City were phenomenal but after spending a good part of the campaign in the top four, withered away once the league resumed and finished in fifth place. Liverpool at one stage looked like they were going to win the league without losing a single game. However, Watford reminded us that the Reds can be defeated. Here, we're going to take a look at goal sides team of the season. Nick Pope, Burnley. Now you must be wondering why we chose the young Burnley shot stopper ahead of the likes of Alison Becker and Edison. The two Brazilians continue to set the standards for how a modern day number one should play, but it's safe to say that both Liverpool and City's goalkeepers have a much more stable backline to rely upon. The Clarets number one, however, lives in a different world. The Englishman might have lost out on the Golden Glove to Edison, but the fact that he played a crucial role in helping his side to a top-half finish means that no one deserves the spot more than the Ipswich Academy graduate. Pope kept out over 70% of the shots he faced, which is a remarkable stat for someone who has been in the top tier of English football for only three years. Right back, Trent Alexander-Arnold, Liverpool. He might only be 21, but the way that he goes about his business on the pitch, Trent Alexander-Arnold might have been playing the game for a very long time. The youngster provided 13 assists this season and broke his own record of providing the most assists by a defender in the league. The English right-back also scored four goals and his ability from dead ball situations continues improving. Centre-back, Virgil van Dijk, Liverpool. No matter what anyone says, the Dutchman is by far the best centre-back on the planet right now. His ability to boss around his area, victimising opponents and not giving up an inch, makes him a dream signing for Liverpool. No defender has kept more clean sheets in the Premier League than the former Southampton man, 15. And no one has been so influential either. With five goals and a box full of players who couldn't find a way past him, we're looking at footballing royalty at the moment. Don't let anyone else tell you otherwise, for now. Centre-back, Charles Soyuncu, Leicester City. When Manchester United managed to nip Harry Maguire away from Leicester City, many were left wondering how the Foxes would successfully replace their talismanic leader. Indeed, the English centre-back was their leader from the back and replacing him was never going to be easy. In came Charles Soyuncu. The Turkish international wasn't a very well-known name a few months ago, but he's proven himself to be one of the finest young defenders around. Blessed with decent pace and strong ability to read the game, the Turk completed 90% of his passes this season and won two-thirds of his tackles. Still only 24, so Yunchu is likely to get even better as he further matures into his role. Left-back, Andrew Robertson, Liverpool. The Scottish fullback was another of many reasons why Liverpool are currently the best team in England. He's had quite a competition with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the sense that both men are great at providing goal-scoring opportunities. With 12 assists, Andrew Robertson completes the attacking wizardry of Liverpool's fullbacks. He also scored two goals this season, and we expect him to go even further in his career. Centre mid, Kevin De Bruyne, Manchester City. While Manchester City made a rather feeble attempt to defend their Premier League crown and were uncharacteristically inconsistent, the same cannot be said about their talismanic playmaker, Kevin De Bruyne. The Belgian scored 13 goals and supplied a record equaling 20 assists in 35 appearances. His ability to create chances thanks to his amazing vision and passing range make him one of the most influential players in the league. 
This season, he created 136 chances, and 104 of those came from open play. Hopefully, De Bruyne will be able to see more consistency from the rest of his teammates. Centre mid, Jordan Henderson, Liverpool. After winning the FWA Footballer of the Year award, Jordan Henderson caps off the best season of his career where he led Liverpool by example and earned a lot of respect and plaudits both on and off the field. The England international managed five goals and provided five assists, but it was his leadership skills that really stood out throughout this memorable campaign. Whether Jurgen Klopp fielded him as a number eight or as a number six, the Sunderland Academy graduate never disappointed and put in hard-working shifts for the team's cause and we're sure that the story is not over for the experienced midfielder who would be eager to help his side win more titles moving forward. Centre mid, Bruno Fernandes, Manchester United. Okay, fine, we agree that Bruno Fernandes has yet to complete a full season in the Premier League and that we might get bashed for putting his name on the list. However, don't you think it's fair to include those individuals in the team of the season whose presence completely changed a team's fortunes? In this case, a team that was suffering from an acute creativity crisis. The arrival of Bruno Fernandes after a long protracted transfer saga literally changed everything at Old Trafford. Within the first month of his arrival, Solskjaer's immediate future was safe. Nobody had a lot of stuff to write about Paul Pogba. The near miss of Erling Holland was momentarily forgotten and most importantly, Manchester United were now in a position to qualify for next season's edition of the Champions League. In just 14 appearances, the Portugal international ended up registering eight goals and seven assists as the Red Devils finished the season unbeaten in the league since his arrival. Tell me if you can find any player who had that much of an impact in such a small amount of time. Right wing, Mohamed Salah, Liverpool. Okay, so this wasn't the season where Salah reached the dizzying heights of the 2017-18 campaign, but the Egyptian continues to be one of the most lethal forwards in the game today. Scoring 19 goals and providing 10 assists, Salah played a crucial role to help Liverpool end their Premier League voodoo. Without the Egyptian, the Reds might have struggled, and the same can be said of the next gentleman we have on this list. Left wing, Sadio Mane, Liverpool. In the first half of the campaign, Mane was on fire, scoring goals and providing assists for fun and making a mockery of some of the best defences in the league. The former Southampton man ended up the season with 18 goals and 9 assists, and the only reason why Raheem Sterling didn't make this list is because Mane was absolutely crucial to everything good Klopp's army achieved this season. Striker, Jamie Vardy, Leicester City It's hard to believe that just a few years back Vardy was playing non-league football, but the Englishman's story is that of redemption and of a willingness to go far in his career. This season, Vardy was leading the lines for Brendan Rodgers' side as the Foxes staked a claim for a Champions League place. Sadly though, the former Premier League champions fell short after running out of steam in the last lap of the campaign, but no one can deny how crucial Vardy was for his side. After scoring 23 goals, the England international won the Golden Boot. To top it all off, Vardy had a hand in five goals, which tells you a lot about a player who's at the peak of his powers. However, we do feel that Leicester need to sign another good striker who can share some of the goal-scoring burden with the club's main man. And that's our team of the season. Who's yours? Let us know in the comments below.